What is going on everybody and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Yes, we are finally playing it. Uh, I've played it on and off since it came out, but there was a lot of bugs and issues with it. Um, it's still kind of a work in progress, but the most recent update, it has been fairly stable. So knock on wood, we're going to get in here as much as we can before it sadly breaks again. But um, I've been fairly comfortable with the Cessna 152, I've done some of the training classes and whatnot and flown it around a lot. And we are here in Polson, Montana. And we're going to be doing some low flying along the rivers, um, so you guys can check out that, the scenery, the nature, um, and whatnot. Possibly some animals, I'm not sure. Haven't run into that yet, I'm not sure how that is populated, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop up into the cockpit here. And uh, flaps are already set, 10 degrees for takeoff, the trim is already set for takeoff as well down there. And uh, all that is looking good. So let's go ahead and uh, parking brake is already on. We're going to get the throttle up there in the green area around 2500 RPMs or so. And we will be releasing the parking brake to get going. All right, right about 2300. That should be good. 2400. Looking good. Rocking. Yep. All right. And go ahead and release the parking brake and get going so I actually meant to take off on the other runway on 18 well it's the same runway but the direction is pointed so we're taking off on runway 36 which is fine uh, we'll just have to loop around and oh there's little small planes over there um, alright so we're waiting for that 65 knots and the plane should uh, kind of lift itself off the ground here and boom there it is lifted itself right off trim is already set pretty good so we actually need to go off to the right over there we're gonna have to loop around so let's go ahead and get that going start reducing the throttle we don't need to have it as high bring the flaps back up to zero degrees we don't need that anymore and start making our turn toward the river so yeah, I uh, have been doing a lot of practicing with the Airbus A320, which is obviously the bigger jet and whatnot, passenger plane. I really want to do that stuff. Um, huge shout out to my buddy Pride Chaser. Uh, he helped out a lot with um, giving me pointers and whatnot and um, getting me comfortable with a plane. And so soon, we should be able to start doing actual flight plans and trips and all that good stuff. And throttle, you need to come down. And we're going to adjust the pitch here to go down a little bit. A little higher. Horizon. I said that really weird. Horizon. And we're going to start making our way around the uh, riverside. There we go. Probably around 2,000 RPMs or so. I do not want to be at 100 knots as we're taking these sharp bank angle turns and whatnot. Altitude is okay for now. As you can see, beautiful out here. Oh, okay. Beautiful out here today. Beautiful, beautiful out here in Polson. And uh, we'll get some cool uh, angle camera angles here as well once we get kind of in a position where we're not you know we got a little bit of a straight way and whatnot that way you guys can check those out as well get some neat shots but the water is just absolutely beautiful tree line there a bunch of trees out here and try not to get too low here pull that nose up a little bit which will reduce our airspeed which is what we want anyway And uh, yeah, really enjoying this game. Um, I've been interested in flight sims for quite some time, wanting to get into them. I actually spent a lot of money on X-Plane and uh, tried getting that working. And it's a very powerful sim, don't get me wrong. Um, and maybe someday I'll be able to revisit it. However, right now, when I was trying to do it, it was just too much. Um, you know, I the main issue I was having was trying to program the FMC, which is the flight plan, you know, device. Ooh, we need to raise our, get the throttle back up here. We need to get above this uh, hill here. 
but the FMC trying to program that damn thing, I watched countless videos, still had issues after issues, and I just said, screw it, you know, I'll just wait for Flight Sim 2020 to come out. It, came, it They announced it right after I had spent all that money, too, which is pretty, uh, that was wonderful, but nonetheless, I like how uh, user-friendly this Flight Sim is, and, um, you know, it, they really don't just leave you in the dark. They uh, really try to do their best to have, give you aids and give you assistance and um, things to make new people coming into this comfortable and not scare them off. So I really like that. And um, things are going well so far. So I'm going to get a little bit higher altitude here so we can try to get some nice uh, camera angles and whatnot. I don't want to crash into this mountain or the hillside, not really a mountain. So let's get the pitch to go up a little bit, adjust our pitch, there we go, climb just a little bit, and I'll be able to get some uh, camera angles here. All right, so we're back on course for the uh, riverside here. Got some nice little outside views there. Looking nice, looking nice. Beautiful morning out here. It's about 10:15, about 10:30 a.m. out here in Polson. Beautiful day. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. There are countless aircrafts. There's at least 20 plus just with the standard game. And then uh, I probably will eventually get the deluxe version, um, which I think has like an extra 10 to 12 aircrafts, I think. So over about 30 total. And then obviously people are releasing mods every day or well, not necessarily every day, but frequently, um, even though it's still a fairly new game, people are already uh, releasing mods for it and stuff. So um I actually put one in the uh, Flyby Wire A320 um, is what I have in there. And as you can see, yeah, we would not be doing this sharp of angles in real life. That's, <laughs> but you know, we're out here having some fun. So what are you going to do? Yeah, I haven't seen any animals at all. So I'm not sure if they're, they don't come this close to uh, this particular area or or what, but nonetheless, that's okay. But yeah, I really like how dynamic this is in the sense that, you know, they didn't just populate a few airports or a few, I mean, it's the entire world. You have the entire globe at your fingertips and they uh, just released J Japan recently and added some stuff with that. Let's get a little bit over here, not too close to the tree line. And, uh, you know, all the points of interest. I mean, you can pretty much fly anywhere. People are flying to their houses. People are flying to the Eiffel Tower or Grand Canyon. I mean, pretty much have no limitations when it comes to flying. And I love that. So definitely that would be cool to do some trips like that out to uh, points of interest is what they call them. But traveling around to places like that would be pretty cool so speed is pretty good here and we're gonna take it on the outside a little bit here because that's a little sharp bank angle there there we go just look at that reflection on the water absolutely incredible and we're gonna roll off for a nice smooth there and then we're gonna transition into another turn and whoo, looking good, looking good. Uh, I've kind of would be scared to fly one of these in real life or even ride in them. I just see too many stories of these things going down. I mean, if you're a good pilot, I guess, then you, you'd be fine. But I would definitely not say I'm a pro pilot at all. <laughs> I, uh, for a while, I actually never thought I would get into flight sims, but recently this past probably 
six months or so, I would say I really have gotten into flight sims a lot and it's just really relaxing and I don't know. My dad has always been into them a lot and, um, you know, we've got drones and stuff and he's got planes and stuff, little RC planes and stuff. And, but yeah, I've just really gotten into the flight sim aspect of things and I really like it. And it's one of those things where it's kind of like, you know, some people are into racing, you know, like iRacing and NASCAR and stuff like that, where some people may think, you know, oh, that's boring, just driving around 100 laps in, in one circle. Um, people may think, you know, this is boring, just flying around and whatever, or there's too much to learn. And I mean, there is so much to learn, it's not even funny. So that's why I like how this flight sim is more user friendly, like I said. For new people and not scaring them off right, right off the bat so love it love it um if we find flat enough ground which is pretty flat flat right there we might be able to try to land this thing do a little like um not really so much a beach landing or sandbar landing but just a little um you know grass field land that probably wouldn't have been too bad of a spot there so if we can try to find a spot we will to do that but some interesting um, shapes here with the, uh, I'm not sure how, <laughs> very hilly. Um, not sure why that's like that or if that's supposed to be like that. Uh, running everything on high, so um, this game is a very graphic intense game for sure, as we all know. But yeah, I can run everything high when I'm flying the smaller aircrafts, and then when you're flying the bigger aircrafts, I have to tone a few things down, like the building and the trees and the and the grass, which it doesn't really matter because when you're flying that high, you know, in a, a jet like that, it doesn't, you know, you don't see those objects anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference at all. So I actually don't know how long this uh, goes on, so let's get our VFR map, oh, not the weather, get the VFR map up here. So we are following this for, yeah, definitely not the whole thing. <laughs> it pretty much goes on endless, so I'm not going to end up doing the whole thing. Got a little aircraft over there, it looks like. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of fly, like I said, if we can try to find a flat little you know plateau whatever some flat ground we will try to land this thing um, not sure how well that's going to go but nonetheless we can try um, let me actually let me pull that back up so along that maybe uh let's get away from the river and try to find um, a flat area elsewhere because it seems to be pretty hilly along here so let's try to get we're gonna increase our throttle here gain some more altitude and see if we can find somewhere a little bit more flat and also a change of scenery would be nice so um, I don't really want to go over mountains I don't really want to try to do that not that the plane couldn't handle it, but we're kind of staying in this boundary. Oh, that's a really, this right here is a pretty flat, well, it kind of slopes down toward the river. Let me see. Uh, oh, that wouldn't be bad right there. That would not be bad. So, oh, but there's a road there. Damn it. Gotta love the damn road. Yeah, because that wouldn't be... Hmm. Yeah, that road. Well, we got all this green part right here. We could, <laughs> I mean, that'd be uh, landing pretty close to the to the roadway there. But what about over here, actually? I thought I saw. Oh, yeah, right here might not be bad. Might not be bad at all. Let's get this down to. Hmm. Maybe not. It's kind of going uphill. 
I mean, that's a little tricky. We're gonna have to uh, look around here and we'll see if we can find something. All right. This is the uh, perfect area for this, so. Perfect area. Let's drop this down to idle power. Land over in here somewhere. Get this down. Get a notch of flaps out. And try to do somewhere over in here would be pretty nice. We're right about 65 knots. Let's just go ahead and try to bring her down right here. Beautiful landing. I'm actually uh, pretty happy with that. And yeah, let's start applying them brakes. Get this baby to a stop. It's going to take a long time. Since we're on the grass here. Don't want to go off that cliff there. <laughs> It's got a little bit of a drop off, so. And let's go ahead and get the parking brake set. And how about that? So, cannot beat that at all. That was a very smooth touchdown. We got very lucky coming across that, uh, this little field part here, so. Um, let's take in the scenery here for a minute. It is just absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, little short flight. Um,. Along the bank of the river there and then also this uh, landing that we had in the grass field over here um, Definitely excited want to do more of this and try out flying to different places and like I said Soon we will be uh, doing actual flight plans with passenger jets, you know the passenger planes, you know Southwest Delta American Airlines all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that had a blast been getting into the game a lot so Let me know if you want to see more and I will see you all in the next one. Take care